गाइस वेलकम टू दी पार्ट थ्री ऑफ मॉडर्न फिजिक्स सीरीज बाय मी नमन मनोहत पार्ट थ्री ऑफ मॉडर्न फिजिक्स सो हाय आई एम नमन मनोहत एंड वेलकम टू द स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डी ब्रॉगलीज पेवलेंस ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डी ब्रॉगलीज हाइपोथिस अ वेरी हाइपोथिस अ वेरी स्मॉल एंड सिंपल टॉपिक जस्ट वन फॉर्मूला वन और टू फॉर्मूलाज दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ऑन डी ब्रॉगलीज हाइपोथिस आई एम श्योर इट विल बी वेरी इजी ओके सो एज वी नो एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू एच म्यू और वी कैन राइट एच सी बाय लैमडा राइट सो दिस इज एनर्जी ओके now i have to convert this into wavelength so this was energy e is equal to hc by lambda or um, this can also be written as in terms of momentum right so in terms of momentum if we write this we'll write it as we know this is momentum into c so p is equal to hc by lambda okay and then when we cut it and take lambda here and p here we get lambda is equal to h by p which is the planck's constant upon the uh, h upon the momentum so this lambda by p is called as this lambda by p is called as uh, de broglie's wavelength okay now p can also be written in the form of p is equal to under root of 2m kinetic energy under root 2m ke so this formula can be written as lambda is equal to lambda is equal to one second lambda is equal to lambda is equal to lambda is equal to h upon under root of 2 into mass into kinetic energy k since we have uh, learned in our uh, last chapter of photoelectric effect that this kinetic energy can also be written as h by under root of 2m kinetic energy can be written as ev where v is the stopping potential okay so this is the formula lambda is equal to h upon under root 2m ev this is the deep de broglie's formula okay now uh, what bohr said bohr said that any orbit is a circular path of radius r any orbit is a path of circular path circular uh, path radius r okay so suppose we say 2 pi r is equal to n lambda some some n is some integer and some multiple of lambda so suppose we say 2 pi r is equal to n lambda then lambda is equal to uh, or say yeah lambda is uh, an n upon lambda now we know h upon p p is equal to 2 pi r okay h upon p is equal to lambda and 2 pi r is equal to nh upon p so we can write this as we can also write p is equal to mv p is equal to mv or uh, this can also be written as h upon mv where mv is the momentum so uh, we can write this as nh upon mv equals to 2 pi r so mv r mv into r is equal to nh upon 2 pi so this is the second derivation of de broglie's result so mv r is the angular momentum so angular momentum in any bohr's orbit angular momentum in any bohr's orbit should be a multiple of h upon 2 pi should be a multiple of h upon 2 pi and we write this h upon 2 pi also as h cross so mv this result can be written as mvr is equal to n into h cross 
where you know h is 6.60 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second upon 2 pi multiple should be the angular momentum in any Bohr's orbit. So guys, this was all about de Broglie's hypothesis. I hope you enjoyed this chapter and this was very simple. This was our part three. Please subscribe to my channel and keep on revising my revision videos so that you can remember all the formulas, understand all the formulas and do well in exams.